7 News investigating the Lower North Fork fire tonight. New documents showing what the State Forest Service dealt with as that prescribed burn reignited and went out of control. 7 News, 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger continues his investigation into the fire. Marshall, we now know how long the Forest Service fought the fire before asking for more help. According to this timeline from the Forest Service, it took eight minutes. It's a little tough to read because of the handwriting, but I'll walk you through it. The first entry is at 1.40 p.m. Monday when slopover was seen at the Lower North Fork area. Slopover meaning the fires out of the contained area. Seven minutes later, the slop growing will need resources. And then at 1.48, this third line called to get North Fork Fire and Elk Creek involved. On Wednesday, March 21st, the day before the prescribed burn, the State Forest Service received this weather data from the National Weather Service. The forecast through Tuesday did not indicate extreme wind gusts. The prescribed burn took place Thursday, the 22nd, after this document called the Go No Go Checklist received 12 check marks approving the burn. On Friday morning, the 23rd, the State Forest Service received an updated weather forecast, which predicted 55 mile per hour wind gusts on Monday. We want to know if the State Forest Service changed its mop up and patrol plan. And as a result of the new weather info, all they would say tonight, quote, out of a respect for the independent review process that is underway, it's not appropriate for us to comment further on the prescribed burn plan. But a week after the controlled burn started, I asked what resources were on scene to watch for flare ups. I'm not sure. I know they were there Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Sunday, I'm not sure of because I haven't gone through the exact. Uh, all of the documents to find that timeline. 7 News also learning more about the call for evacuations, which were first discussed at 2.40 Monday afternoon. We may need to start looking into evacuation of Reynolds uh, and potentially further up uh, if, this, if we don't catch this soon. Based on the State Forest Service timeline, evacuations were not requested until two hours later. And citing that open independent investigation, the Forest Service would not expand beyond these two pages referencing what they knew the day the prescribed burn went out of control starting the Lower North Fork fire. I do have two messages into the leader now of that independent review team. I hope to talk with him tomorrow. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. All right, Marshall, thank you. And Conifer High School, the original evacuation point and later the fire's command center, it reopens tomorrow to students and teachers.